So whenever it comes to modifiers, as specified before, they are currently start states, meaning that you can only choose them one by one when it comes to starting off your shape draw with them. So if you want to, for example, draw a solidified box, you can. And then if you wanted to bevel it, you could always just either tab it and just grab the bevel dot, or you could just press D and add a bevel to the mesh by just clicking on bevel and adjusting it in the viewport and then pausing it with left click afterwards and then pressing D in order to go back into your helper to adjust that shape intimately. If we wanted to add a Q bevel, we can, and then we can flip it. And we're able to still do this even with the solidify present. We can always just remove the solidify, but for the most part, whenever it comes to dealing with solidification, it really is just that easy to deal with it when it comes to getting started with box cutter. We see that with our top normal flipped, we have things acting a little bit weird. So by clicking on the uh, flip Z button, we can get things actually back on track, even though we probably should have just canceled and redrawn the shape. Another thing about Solidify is that in the event that you are using inset, Solidify is automatically available and there's no way to remove it except for right there where I removed it. But if we click and drag, we create our shape. And then when we press D, there's solidification. We can click X and this time it will not let us remove it because we are in inset. Clicking X would actually possibly need to switch us back over to cut and thus remove the ability to have the inset. But just letting you know that whenever you're using inset, solidify will automatically show by default. So that way you can get in and adjust your thickness because solidify is integral to the inset operation. There is no way to do inset without duplicating the mesh, solidifying it, doing a slice on it, and then cutting it back into the original mesh or basically what we call inset.